Welcome back to the BVV channel. Today I have a new and exciting product to demonstrate for you. It's our dry ice maker. This dry ice maker can produce three eighths of a pound of uh, briquettes and it does it in about 25 seconds. Uh, the system comes with a hose, as you see here, that hooks up to a CGA 320, which is a standard fitting that's on a CO2 tank. The CO2 tank that I have to my right, I rent this right off over the counter, uh, went to the local gas supply, uh, paid about a dollar a pound. There's 20 pounds of liquid CO2 inside the cylinder. It's inverted because they didn't have any dip tube tanks at the time. What I've done is I hooked up a different um, manifold here that has a gauge and a valve on it, so I can control it while the valve is open. This is an upgraded option that's available for the system. Generally, if you just order it like this and you have a dip tube tank, you can use the valve on the tank to open and close the valve, which will turn the system on and turn the system off. All right, so we'll get right to it. Let's set this aside. This will hook right up to the top. All you'll need is a 916 wrench to make sure that it's tight. Once it's on there, you really don't have to take it off. Inside, you can see that's our cylinder. The shim that we include, we include an extra shim here. There's gonna be one extra for you. That'll go down to the bottom. And we close the system up. There's a gasket also on this seal here. You won't need a wrench to take these nuts off and I'll show you that in the next steps. So you're gonna make sure that this is tight and closed on the bottle jack, which it is. And then we're gonna turn on our CO2. You'll know when to stop, when the blow off pressure valve leaks. The first time you operate it, it's gonna take a little bit longer to load it, but you'll see. That's all there is to it. So after that, I'm gonna go ahead and pump it up. This will compress the block down, making it very dense. And then we'll back off the pressure just a little bit. That'll allow us to take the nuts off. You wanna make sure when you're handling this, you wanna use appropriate gloves because dry ice is very cold. The next step would be to put these nuts back on here. So when you pump it up, it doesn't slide. That comes off the bottom. There we go. All right, after we're finished making that puck to, re to reset for the next one, You'll loosen this and push down the, the ram. And then we can insert our shim again. We're gonna tighten the, the, the valve on the ram. Put back together. And now we're ready for another run. Sometimes this valve will pop off, and that means that it's complete. Now we just go ahead and pump up the ramp, making that block super dense. Then again, we'll back off the valve. Our 
want to demonstrate how hard this block is um, by dropping it a few times. So you can see this is chipping into actual ice. It's not very fluffy. So you have very, very dense ice that you've made. Well, this concludes our new product demo, so thank you for watching.